Hi guys, it's been a while. I think it's been about six weeks since we've been stuck at home and I was bored. So I had a bio final um, this morning at 8 and um, it was okay. I mean, I did it. That's all I can really say about it. And I made a poll on my Instagram saying, hey, I'm bored and I'm going to be doing a Minecraft painting because I love Minecraft and it's just pixels. So how hard can it be? I mainly chose like the 16 by 16 or the 32 by 32 because those are, I guess, hopefully simple. And this one won. This one's called, I think, Skull and Roses. And I think it's a good representation of me after the bio final. So I have my canvas here. It's a square. It's a 12 by 12 square. And let's go. The Skull and Roses is 32 by 32 pixels. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of math for that. I don't even know how to calculate this, though. I just had my calc final a while ago. I don't know how to do this. 12 inches, there's 32 pixels in each line, there would be 12 over 32, maybe 0.375. So I guess each square is 0.375 by 0.375. Um, it's 2.375 times 16. It'll be, yes, six inches. You know what, why don't we just do this? Why don't I just divide this in half? And then divide that in half, and then divide those into half. So I'm just gonna half this, and then half that, and half that, and then we'll just see where that goes. Alright, we're in the middle of this. My box is really be looking like Excel sheets. So I think it's been like, I think less than an hour, and we are done with our grids. <laughs> just the grids. So I can see we have created... What's 32 times 32? 1,024 squares. Oh, this is... This looks pretty good. I mean, just to let you know that these are not actually all perfect squares. I'm pretty sure some of these are like rectangles. <laughs> but it's okay, because we are about to get started on painting. Yes! So after doing the grids, I realized that that night I had to turn in a research paper for my writing class. It was about augmented reality, and I'm actually really proud of it. Hi. So it's been about like two days, because I was doing work and didn't feel like painting, but... We're gonna start today, for sure. We have our canvas still here. Our paints are getting set up. And also, if you guys are wondering, I made my own little tripod because I was not able to- <laughs> I don't even have, like, anything to hold up my camera. So, I basically use, like, a tape dispenser. What is these called? A tape dispenser. And taped on this chapstick. And it's gonna go right here. Thank you to, um, Craft Smart for the paints. Not sponsored. I took two years of art in high school, so hopefully this works out. So this painting has hella blues. So that's gonna be a little complicated to like, kind of use whites and darks to make different blue colors. But I have quite a lot of blues. I have this kind of blue, this blue, uh, this blue here. And I only have this cream color as like, a light color. Vanilla. So I don't know how that's gonna work out. And then I have this darker blue over here too. So, uh, yeah, and if we need to go darker, I have, like, purples. <laughs> I don't know. We'll just see how it goes. I'm sorry if my head blocks something. So I started with the background. So what I did is that I took a line of squares and kind of compared the reference photo to the actual paints, mixed them together, and put them on the canvas. I also found out that this is actually a 30 by 30, not a 32 by 32, because the border is actually part of the photo. They're all freaking the same color, I don't know, man. Yeah, it took me like five minutes to create one single color and I was so stressed out. But luckily I got myself some delicious ramen. And I've been wanting ramen for so many weeks in quarantine and I am so glad that I got myself some. So after doing some of the background, I was kind of like, okay, it's just too many blues, you know? This is gonna be this outline of the skull. I kind of wanted to not do the background and just work on the actual skull. This is my new favorite color, you see that? I don't know what color that is, but it's hella cool. It's like not navy blue. It's like a lighter navy blue. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> and speaking of darker colors, I actually didn't have black, so I kind of improvised by using brown. And I think it actually worked a lot better than black because it kind of dirtied up the look. It's a puddle. 
So while I'm painting, I'm also listening to music and watching some Netflix. And when I really need to occupy myself, sometimes I just talk about the colors I'm trying to mix. Yeah, you can yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna really darken it. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it has to be the same like, darkness yeah. there. Well, it isn't more than here. Like, sorry, I'm just trying to describe things. There's no way to be changed. Love, well, yeah, I can, I think we can make arrows that can float on the ground with them. Mm -hmm. Alright, we have a forehead done. I mean, if you just look at my forehead, and this forehead, it's... it's not too bad. Okay, I don't know about it. <laughs> Alright, I think I want to work on darker colors now. So luckily, there's like some purpley gray tones in here. Oh, I don't have black. I really don't have black. The entire time I couldn't stop thinking about the ocean because there's just so many blues. Your ocean eyes. So to figure out where all the colors go, I kind of count the boxes from the picture onto the canvas and figure out where the color goes. And I think at one point I even messed up, but it's okay. So we got ourselves some chick fil Should we do a mukbang? We should, right? Alright, hello, it's day three of this painting, and uh, we have got quite a lot done. We have um, pretty much the forehead area and a side of his head. It's looking pretty good, not gonna lie. Give it a bigger explosion. So it's been about a week, and it's because I just feel so unmotivated right now. This quarantine is making me so, like, I don't know. I just keep wanting to take big pauses, but uh, we're just gonna continue on our painting. It's looking like this so far. We're gonna keep going. Because I really wanna finish this. So now I'm watching Crazy Rich Asians with my friends. It's such a great movie. And after filling in that last square, we are done with the skull, not the roses. So after finishing the skull, I wanted to work on the background. I didn't want to find each individual color of each square, so I blocked in the area with a general shade of blue. But then I realized I covered up my grid lines and it just became harder to find each box, but it all worked out. I'd like to give a big shout out to my father for giving me some black paint. We don't have to use brown anymore. <laughs> Can we just take a moment to look how nice this palette is? Usually my palettes are very messy and blue, so what I like about this is that there's different colors. I think I'm messing up my paintbrushes because whenever I mix, I'm like getting all in there and trying to mix up the colors, but it kind of messes, messes up the bristles. And I don't, don't think that's a good thing. Oh my god, this side is really bad. This is really bad. <laughs> you see that? That sucks. I'm just blend it out. <laughs> Alright, 
There we go. Easy fix. Does that look okay? I don't know. All right. We are done with like ha more than half. We are almost done. Oh my god. Okay. Can you guys see the whole thing? All right. Yo. In dark lighting, it looked actually really nice. And from far away too. Look at that. It's amazing. Beautiful. I also showed my mother this and she was like, Oh, it's a skull. So scary. And I was like, at least it's a little rose. It's fine. So the walls in our house are getting dirty and my dad and I had to paint the walls white again. It was really fun because I just got to go ham on it and I felt like Rapunzel for 20 minutes. I'm gonna put a thin coat of white on every, like, spot because I feel like it's too dark right here. I don't know, we'll have to see if it works out. I just need to, like, tone it down a little bit. I don't know if that's from the thing. I just need to be more white. Like, I need this whole place to be all white. Like, if I can put a filter on this, I need to bring up the white balance, you know? I'm just, just gonna keep trying to blend the white in with the darker color. I just want to finish this flower part and then this one. Because this green part on the bottom is gonna bug me again. My left leg hurts a lot because I've been sitting on my left leg. Not a good idea. So I think towards the end of the painting, I kind of didn't really care about color matching everything because no one's really gonna be like, why is this color so off? I think they're gonna get the general idea that it's green. I don't know why the purple is so watery. <sighs> but it's fine. Is there a way to make it not so watery? Or is there a reason why it's so watery? Let me know. I shake it up. I shake up the bottle. I shake the bottle every time, but it's still not completely solid like these other ones. Um, Definitely at the end of the background here, I did not color match at all. Alright, so I got my painter's tape. I'm just gonna place it all around. So the border of Skull and Roses is like a darkish blue, but I don't have a dark blue, so I'm just gonna combine um, this peacock blue with black, and hopefully it'll be like a dark blue. If not, then I might just go for black, but we'll see. So here is me putting on the painter's tape, and I think after I put on the paint is when I got really scared because if I overdid it, I would have messed up the whole entire thing. Now prepare yourself for some ASMR. Alright, after many months, I'd like to present to you Skull and Roses. Look at this beauty. It's so epic. If you look closely, you can kind of see the streak marks, but if you look at it from a distance, man, it looks beautiful. And I'm probably going to go buy some varnish because I do not want this to go old. This took way too long, and if this dies, I'm going to be so sad. So yes, 
Thank you to everyone who voted in my poll. Make sure you guys um stay healthy. You know, it's still quarantine. I want you guys to always be safe and to social distance and to wear masks and to wash your hands and all that. So thank you. Leave a like if you're an epic Minecraft gamer. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.